G'day everyone, Stephen Glenn, your Aussie Golf Pros, and welcome to Mental Game Fundamentals video series. And we're gonna start with, obviously, fundamental number one. And that is process and the mental game scorecard. So I have a question for you, Steve. What do you think about a guy who steps up onto the first tee and his goal for the day is to break 90 for the first time? Well, well if you're stepping up onto the first tee, I certainly don't want him thinking about score. No, uh, okay. That's an outcome base or a uh, results-based thought, swing thought, mind thought, whatever you want to call it. And that's not the time to be thinking about that. There is a time and a place to think about... Look, it's okay as a long-term goal. Yeah, and I, I, think, I think to sit down in the armchair the night before and visualise yourself having a wonderful round of breaking 90, if that's mm -hmm. your goal. But I think when you're on the first tee, all we're thinking about is the three or four or five things that you can do best to hit that shot. The that process. The process, yeah. yeah. And, and the problem with an outcome-based goal or result-based result goal like that is it's almost impossible to stay in the present. We're going to be thinking about the future, worrying about our score or the past, yep. and, and that's just going to bring about anxiety or regret, and, and you know, it's really going to mess up with your mental state of mind. It is. And uh, it's not going to be the best and most effective way for us to hit those golf shots that we want to hit. Absolutely. So we really believe that the process is, is where it happens. If we can focus on the process of what we're trying to do, then we can ready our mind and body much better to hit those golf shots. And, and those processes are entirely up to you and your coach. And very individual, yeah. Mm. So what sort of processes would you focus on for yourself in your game, Steve? Well, for me, I, if, if we're talking about hitting a tee shot, I'm really focusing on the swing that I want to put on it. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that is I, I obviously analyze what I'm doing, but mm -hmm. I want to talk about where I'm trying to land it. Yep, the target. The, the sure. shape that I'm trying to hit, mm -hmm. the swing that I'm trying to put on it. I'm obviously going to go through my pre-shot routine, yep. which is a process-based routine mm -hmm. to get me into the optimal state of mind to hit the best golf shot that I can hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And it, it really does vary on the individual. I uh, work with plenty of guys uh, and girls who really do benefit from having just maybe one or two processes to yeah. think about. Uh, I've, I've got a left-handed I work with, and we're really focusing on the process of finding the middle of the club more often. And okay. um, we set him a goal. He, we try to have, at the, at the moment, try to have more shots out of the sweet spot than, than off the toe. So regardless of where that shot's finishing... Yeah. Yeah, okay. And, and we actually do a score on that, a percentage of how many shots he hits out of the middle. And by focusing on that process, it helps him to relax a little bit more and, and to hit better shots. Yeah. Uh, another guy I work with, we just work mainly on balance. Okay, it's, it's not a strong part of his game, so if he focuses on that process of being balanced, and that really helps him with his mental commitment and his physical commitment to the shot, yeah. and it's a great process for him to, to focus on and, and again, perform better that way. Sure. Uh, so it really does vary from person to person. Other people, they need to commit more. Uh, other golfers need to you know, just, just get themselves into a better state of mind, pick a shot, pick a target. Yeah. How many golfers do we know that just aim at somewhere down the middle or, or even that way? And they, and they're not focusing on that target. And they think they're aiming, but they're not. Oh, I'm trying to hit it down there. Look, yeah. Down there is, is, is too vague. Yeah. You cannot get into your car and say to your GPS, just drive forward. <laughs> it, it doesn't know what... It's not going to give you a, it, uh, you a, a route much, until you give a exactly destination. Exactly right. You need to yeah. give it a specific destination for it to be able to get you to the place that you want to go. Your golf game is exactly the same. You really need to work with your coach on what sort of processes are going to help you and experiment a little bit. Some processes might be a little bit too technical. They might have too many processes. Mm -hmm. Some people are going to benefit from just having one simple swing thought out on the golf course. Yeah. And, and some people are going to have a different process for their tee shots, a different yes. process for their approach shots, and then a different process well, for that, their putting. Well, that brings us into the mental game scorecard, which is the second part of this first fundamental um, that David talks about. And he's set up a uh, mental game scorecard, which can just slot straight into your normal scorecard. Mm -hmm. But it gives you the opportunity to sit down before you're around and, and think about these process goals for um, uh, different parts of your game. Um, and he's talked about driving, short mm -hmm. game, and, and putting, or long game, short game, putting. But you yeah. can break those up into the areas that, that you uh, want to focus on. But it gives you a chance to sit down 
and write down a few things that you want to be and that you want to think about when trying to hit your best shot. Yeah. You know, so with your putting, it might be, I, I want to pick the spot where I want to start it over. I want to have good rhythm. I want to be calm. I, I you know. Good speed good is speed. another one that I work on with plenty of my clients in just focusing on getting good speed. How many golfers do you know just leave it just short all the time? Yeah. And, and again, that's probably worried about that result, that score, rather than focusing on the process of actually trying to hold parts. Exactly. So the whole point of this first fundamental is to take you out of those areas where you're thinking outside of the present, mm -hmm. where you're thinking about a shot that you've just missed or a score uh, or, uh, that you've just had on a previous hole that's still staying with you. It stops you thinking about, uh, and it happens to everyone. I used to do it all the time. I'd be playing the the fourth here at Stone Cutters. Mm -hmm. you remember that time I had, had trouble with the fifth tee shot here? Yeah. And I'd be playing the fourth. I'd be I'd be hitting my second shot into four, starting to think about yeah. the tee shot on five, which is distracting. What about that guy that's trying to break ninety and he's and he's shooting for an eighty-five and he's got three holes to go and Absolutely. he's thinking about that and, and he starts kind of... going on into five or two or five or two and and, it... and that's just going to sabotage his round for a sure. Absolutely, because it takes you out of your present thinking, which is concentrating on the next shot, concentrating on what you're doing right now, and the things that you have control of. Yeah. which is your process in leading up to the next shot in the now. Uh, thinking about something which you have absolutely, which firstly doesn't exist yet. Correct. The future is just a, uh, an image based on what you think could happen. So lending any energy to it and thinking about it and especially worrying about it is just crazy. Absolutely. And, and we're really getting away from the state of mind that we want to be in. Absolutely. All right, so there's the first of our mental game fundamentals process and the mental game scorecard. And this is all geared towards getting you into that ideal golf state of mind that we're looking for. Absolutely, the optimum state of mind to hit your perfect golf shot. Great. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow with our next video.